Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Hi, I'm Waldo Cabrera, and I'm here with Congressman Steve Israel. He's the representative for New York's 3rd Congressional District, looking for another term in office. Why should your voters give you another term in office? Well, because I've been a relentless advocate for middle-class families uh, throughout this congressional district, uh, a relentless advocate for veterans. Uh, one of the things I'm most proud of is the fact that uh, we've secured uh, $7.6 million for the veterans I represent. Uh, and uh, I just work hard uh, for the folks I represent. Uh, we may not always agree on every issue. I mean, if you come to Thanksgiving Day at my house, even my family doesn't agree on every issue. Um, but the thing that I appreciate hearing the most is uh, you work hard for us. In every uh, race, there the major concerns are jobs, taxes, and lately, it's just been this health care issue. People are working harder than ever, uh, but their paychecks aren't reflecting that. Uh, and so I think that Washington, while the Congress has never created a job, there are things that we can do uh, to expand jobs. For example, uh, infrastructure. Uh, if you take a look, you know, I'll never pretend to be the smartest member of Congress, Waldo, although if you listen to many of my colleagues, you know the competition ain't that stiff. Uh, but I know economic history. And you look at economic history in this country, when the federal government partners with the private sector in building things, in building bridges and tunnels, uh, in modernizing our infrastructure, it creates jobs. And yet we have a Congress now that instead of choosing to build, chose to shut down the federal government for two weeks. That's not how you create jobs. That's how you create partisanship. And the second thing that I'm working on is uh, dedicating ourselves to uh, new uh, technologies. For example, Alzheimer's research uh, and cybersecurity. Those are enormous areas of potential for Long Islanders. We used to be the defense capital of the world. Now I want us to be the Alzheimer's research capital and the cyber defense capital of the world. With uh, our health care uh, issue, it's, it's a topic uh, across the nation. What went wrong? What happened and what, how can we fix what sure. happened? A lot went wrong. Uh, number one, the rollout was horrific. Let's acknowledge that. Uh, and then when we acknowledge that it's horrific, there are two things we can do about it. We can politicize it and try and repeal the entire thing 50 times, which Republicans tried to do, or we can fix it. Uh, I prefer to try and fix it, and I have. I'll give you some examples. Uh, there was an interpretation after the Affordable Care Act was, uh, was effectuated uh, that volunteer fire departments might be subject to the mandate. Well, that's just silly. Uh, one of the mayors uh, of a village that I represent, uh, Mayor Levy, called me and said, can we fix that? I spoke to the White House directly. I said, this will not stand. We need to fix it. And we fixed it. You brought up a point, and it's about the partisanship. What are you doing to try to break some of that gridlock? Two things. Number one, I started something called the Center Isle Caucus in the House of Representatives that brings Democrats and Republicans together uh, to talk not about what we disagree on, but to figure out what we can agree on. Secondly, uh, when I disagree with President Obama, I fight him. Just as when I disagreed with President Bush, I fought him. Uh, and so when the president, want, when President Obama wanted to terminate the Bush tax cuts for everybody, uh, uh, making over $250,000, I said to him, literally, $250,000 may make you rich in Huntington, West Virginia, not Huntington, Long Island. And you know what? I got him to compromise. You just came back from Israel? I did. Why are they so important, and what did you learn there that's going to help us as Americans? They're an important ally because Israel and the United States share the common thread of terrorism. They are also surrounded uh, by regimes uh, that are dictators. They are surrounded by regimes that uh, teach kids how to blow things up instead of how to put things, uh, put things together. And so we share common values and uh, democratic principles. And I feel very strongly uh, that uh, the world is better off when you have a strong Israel, which means a more secure America. I was just in Wyandanche, a former community mm -hmm. that you represented. And they were, they were singing your praises about a program that you initiated a, a farmer's market. Yeah. And why are such programs important to you? And do you do that everywhere? Well, first of all, food costs in wine dance were very high because it didn't have uh, a lot of uh, accessibility to supermarkets. And so my thought was, well, why don't we just get local farmers to bring their produce to wine dance and sell it uh, to people? Uh, on the issue of why are those little things important, I have a philosophy that I teach my staff. We're never going to change the world 
we have to change it one person at a time. Literally, one person, one veteran at a time, uh, one person in wine dance who can get less expensive food, one farmer who makes a little more money, one middle class family at a time. That's what I believe in every day. Can't change the world, but if you change it one person at a time, you change it for that person. Congressman, thank you for your time. Thank you, Waldo. I wish you luck Great in the to upcoming be with election. You. Thank you, sir.